I've been looking forward to the release of Test Grad on Wii U for months now, ever since I went snooping around to find out what top-notch indie games would be coming to the Wii U eShop, so I could compile a list and deliver a video to you fine folks on which eShop games we can look forward to in 2014. Test the Grad was one of the handful of titles that I picked out from the rest, and what really sold me and drew me in is its phenomenal 2D art style that reminds me of old-timey cartoons. That was back in February when I made that video showcasing what Test the Grad was going to offer Wii U owners, and the time has finally arrived for us to delve deep deep into this metroidvania world and scale the perilous and enigmatic Tesla Tower to see what it's all about. Tesla Grad is essentially a 2D puzzle platformer set in a Metroid-like world, where magnetism and other electromagnetic powers become your new best pals, as they act as a way of circumventing the long-abandoned Tesla Tower. What's interesting about the game's story is that every minute detail is conveyed through voiceless storytelling, which automatically reminds me of Two Tribes' own Wii U eShop title, Tokitori 2. If you really want to understand what is taking place in this steampunk-inspired world, you'll need to pay attention to your surroundings by looking at paintings on walls or even getting some context information through theater plays that pop up every now and then. That way, you'll need to take the effort to try and piece together what is actually taking place in this moody world, instead of having it fed to you on a silver spoon. I also need to give Rain Games props on the game's introduction, as it doesn't waste any time and drops you right into the heat of a chase sequence, which is different from other titles that take it slow and steady in the beginning to get the player adjusted. It's nice because it's not something you would expect, and it starts the game off on a high note. As I stated before, Testagrad has Metroid-like quality, Qualities, and that becomes apparent when it comes to the game's interconnected world and the hero's various electric and magnetic powers. You essentially climb up one large center column of the Tesla Tower and investigate all the different paths branching off of it to climb further and further up. It's nice to have the world set up like this as it makes it feel more compact and less sporadic. Unlike Metroid, there really isn't a whole lot of backtracking. You can go back to previously explored areas, but you're always being pushed to continue the trek up the tower, which is definitely good to see. The little unnamed boy will also gain a handful of new abilities along the way Way, such as an electromagnetic glove to change the magnetic charge of objects to attract and repel them to solve puzzles, or the speed boost that will have you zipping around and phasing through deadly hazards. The puzzles aren't necessarily complex, it's more the platforming that will really test your skills as you try to get the magnets to propel you in the right way. Trust me, you're bound to die many, many times. Testagrad has a heavy focus on platforming, and I must say that Rain Games did a swell job at making sure the character controls fluidly and the jumping is spot on. The speedy boots can be a little finicky at first since it causes the character to move in a split second and you may just overshoot your target, so it can be troublesome in the beginning to try and figure it out, but you'll start to warm up to it the longer you use it. One of the biggest highlights for me in Testagrad was, and I wasn't expecting this, the boss fights. Nearly all of the Teslamancer technology you acquire throughout the game is mainly only used for puzzle solving and platforming, but rankings find some way to make sure you use the skills you learn throughout the adventure and put them to the test with the game's handful of boss fights. They are cleverly done, distinct from one another, and are flat out brutal. Yes, it is highly unlikely you'll send them to their doom on the first go around, and one reason for that is because one hit means instant death. So, you'll need to take the time to understand the intricacies of the bosses and memorize what they have in store for you. They may get your palms sweating, but at least they're not a pushover. Visually, Test Grad is one of the best looking Wii U eShop games out there. Whoever worked on the artwork for this little indie game should get a raise, because they know how to make some gorgeous hand-drawn environments. There is literally more than 100 beautiful landscapes for you to travel through as you make your way through the steampunk-inspired vision of old Europe, and one of the things that really stood out to me was the ginormous tree. It's pretty. Even though Rain Games did do a fantastic job when crafting this world, I did have a problem with the frame rate when you come near one of the gates in the long center column of the Tesla Tower. It just turns into a lag fest as the game tries to load all the rooms beyond the gate, which does make sense, but it can also be somewhat off-putting. Tesla Grad also does well to include some nice music capturing the somber mood that surrounds this game. Not all of it is particularly memorable though, as some takes more of a mellow ambient approach that you may not even notice if you're super focused on the task at hand, which is how I usually am. The game does start off with a bang too, as the moment you boot up the game and reach the title screen, you are introduced to a beautiful musical arrangement that really just draws you in and gives you the feeling that this journey you are about to delve into will be oh so grand. It's a high quality piece of music that you would expect to see in some AAA game. Now if you're looking for a long adventure when it comes to completing the story, well you may want to know that Tessagrad will take about 3-4 to four hours to complete, depending on how fast you solve the puzzles. That's not to say that is all there is though, as the world hides away some small white scrolls in hard to reach places that will put your gaming skills to the test. The only problem I have with these is the game doesn't give you any hints as to where they are located. It would have been nice if the map on the Wii U gamepad gave you some sort of indication as to their locations, but unfortunately, that is not so. On the bright side, at least the world isn't so humongous that it will take you ages to find them. 
Rain Games did a real fine job with their work on Testigrad, and it deserves to have a home on the Wii U eShop. The platforming is quite solid, the boss fights rock, the visuals are great, the world isn't confusing, and it's got a welcoming, unforgiving difficulty. So, in all, the GamingPixelShow.com finds Testigrad to be an amazing game. But that will bring us to the end of the video review. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff, and you can stay tuned for more videos in the future. But I will talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!